I think a lot of us are trying to figure out a way to curb this gun violence in the city of Philadelphia. You're about to meet a man who has an interesting idea. He says, put down the gun and pick up a paintbrush, or in this case, an airbrush. So what are you working on? Uh, right now I'm working on a positive message to myself, just saying change will come. Oh. Because uh, sometimes I just gotta work on my artwork to give myself messages, just to know, keep myself on the right track. Airbrush 101 is just an educational project to uh, teach kids the basic fundamentals of art and airbrush. I met you at an anti-gun violence meeting because you're concerned about the gun violence like everybody else. How is this related to that? Um, well, I would just simply correlate it like this. Um, if you put the guns down, why don't you put something else in their hands? Okay, so the replacement for that would be the airbrush. You know what I mean? Make that your weapon of choice, okay? Because you can use that to create art, paint cars, do murals. Now I see this and like people my age, I think it's a good thing for people that's my age and my generation to come down, paint, do whatever you want instead of, you know, going outside, uh, going, you know, doing bad things. But this is a good thing to do. In your board time, if you don't have anything to do, you should come paint. Um, I remember growing up, um, it was a graffiti epidemic and it was spray paint all over the place. But they told us to put the spray paint cans down and they replaced it with paintbrush and rollers. And it was called the Anti-Graffiti Network. And they had us painting and cleaning off all of the walls and they were paying us to do it. So it was like an incentive. Is your idea working? Um, yes, yeah, this is my idea of working and teaching so others can gain some type of employment. And you've had success? Yes, I had a lot of success. Um, People that were at risk. Yes. Or maybe being in prison the rest of their life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some going inside, coming out, and me preventing some from going in. Where did you serve your time? Uh, I started off at St. Gabe's. Oh, yeah. When I first, I did about 10 months there. I met JT there. He introduced me to the art. He told me when I come home to connect with him. When I first came home, I really didn't do it because I'm like, I just came home 10 months. I'm still a kid. I want to live my life. I lived it the wrong way and got sent back again. Mm. So when I came back, I was like, well, I tried it the first time my way. It didn't work my way. I need to change. These two young men working today, you're yes. now teaching them to paint. Yes, I'm teaching them airbrushing and basic um, entrepreneurship. Everybody has this creative inside of them. Everybody. You know what I mean? And then it's like sometimes you might run across the hardest, toughest guy in the class. He don't want to do anything. But all of a sudden, once you start painting and all of that, it brings out the inner child in him. I just love to see the next generation um, continue on this creative process. I think my concentration skills and my problem solving skills got really better from this program. Now that I know my hidden talent, now I know I could paint, do art and stuff like that. So now that I know that, I think it's a good thing. Do you think this saved your life? I know it saved my life. I don't think I know. Just because, like, it showed me different. It showed me something that I didn't know that was there. It opened doors for me that I thought would forever be closed. Art has no rules. It's my job to tell y'all that don't choose this path. And if it's something else that you would like to do, just ask. I mean, it's a good feeling. It's, and it's a rewarding feeling. And Sometimes that's what keeps you going. Well, I feel like I'm a living testimony of it. Yeah. It worked for me, so I know it can work for others. Once you make the initial step, I'll meet you the other way, and then I'll take you all the way to where you need to be.